how to get involved at Habitat for Humanity Chicago. One of the ways you can get involved is as a construction volunteer. We are currently building in the West Pullman neighborhood Thursday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. We do ask that you stay the entire time. Um, we also ask that you wear closed toed shoes for safety purposes. The minimum age to volunteer at our construction site is 16 and you must be accompanied by a chaperone, which is someone that's 21 and up. And soon we will start building in Grand Crossing coming in 2021. Most people at the construction site do volunteer as an individual. As an individual, you simply sign up for shifts on the volunteer portal. Um, that is on a first come first serve basis. So when you go to the calendar and click on the construction, you may see it may have one um, spot available. It may have 10 spots available or it may be filled. Um, you can also volunteer as a group. We do horse host corporate groups and community group. We consider a group to be a size of 5 to 50 people. Um, this size may change as we continue to monitor COVID-19. Um, we do book groups three to six months in advance. Um, we do ask for a financial contribution to go along with your team build day um, just to help us pay for supplies and also our workers. Uh, we will um, work with you to come up with an appropriate contribution. Um, we also plan, we also assist with the planning of your group's build day. So we create registration pages, um, we constantly send communication emails, and of course if you volunteer as an individual or with a group, you can always feel free to um, email us with any questions. The three store is located in the Saganesh neighborhood on the far northwest side of the city and near the intersection of Peterson and Pulaski. The three store is able to have shoppers in the store Wednesday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., but we work with volunteers Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can learn more about those shifts on our volunteer calendar. Just like the build site, you must wear closed-toed shoes. It is a warehouse environment, and we want to keep everyone safe. Volunteers must be at least 14, um, and 14 and 15-year-olds need to come with a, uh, must be accompanied by a chaperone. Um, that chaperone needs to be over 21. Um, volunteers 16 and 17 don't need to come with a chaperone, but do need to bring their uh, signed waiver uh, that's been signed by a parent or guardian. In order to volunteer at the ReStore, you need to watch also our ReStore 101 video and uh, first attend a ReStore 101 volunteer shift that you can sign up for on the volunteer calendar. Um, these are great opportunities to learn about what you'll be doing and get started at the ReStore. To sign up to volunteer with us, you want to go to HabitatChicago.org, scroll to the very bottom, click on the volunteer portal. From there, you can either create an account by clicking the blue box or click log in. Now, if you're having any difficulties logging in or creating an account, please go ahead and email us at volunteer at habitatchicago.org so we can go ahead and help you with that problem. Now, once you're logged in, you want to go ahead and scroll down so you can see the calendar. You may want to click on month just to get a better view of the calendar. Now the construction is in blue, restore is in green, and volunteer orientation is in black. Now you see this day is filled, there's no shifts available. Versus this day you see that two shifts are available and five shifts are, shifts are available. And those are also two different addresses. Well, we're going to go ahead and sign up for the 12th. You click where it says Winter Warriors Individual. Please note that it may not say Winter Warriors, it may just say Individuals in the address. You want to scroll down, read through the role, tasks. Um, for special requirements, also the location, and then click apply. Once you applied, you want to go ahead, if you need these hours for required documentation, check that box, then go ahead and check liability, anti-harassment, and agree to terms and conditions. One thing you might not see here is the COVID volunteer agreement. Um, you will see that now, and that's another box that you would need to check. Then click save. Once you see that, you should also receive an email, a confirmation email, stating um, the date, time, and address that you are signed up to volunteer at our construction site. This goes the same for our ReStore. You should receive a confirmation email. Now, these are all the dates that you can volunteer that if you signed up with us before, you may see this. Now, um, in order to cancel, let's say you're unable to make it, you want to go ahead and click where it says BS04 and then the number. Once you click on that, you can click cancel and you can cancel your volunteer date. 
Now, we do ask that you cancel at least 24 hours in advance. That way, if someone is interested in volunteering last minute, they are able to sign up for a ship. Now, if you do need to cancel and it's, you have less than 24 hours, go ahead and send us an email um, at volunteer at habitatchicago.org. That way, we could physically take you off the list and also give our construction team a head count of how many people are going to be there. Now, if you're someone that may need um, your hours uh, documented, you may click on My Hours. It'll show you the service hours and the confirmed, um, just so you can keep up with how many hours you have. Um, ongoing opportunities, you can sign up for other ways to volunteer or um, at least apply. For example, if you're interested in coming to Crew Leader, you can click on that and click Apply. Um, we'll receive an email that you're interested in, and then we will take it from there. Now, I click back on my current shift because I signed up for the 12th. So you can see right there, there's my role. If your role doesn't appear there, then you may not have signed up for it or it didn't go through all the way. If you are, if you do receive that, have that problem, then go ahead and email us. So we can confirm that you are signed up for the role. Now we do have other ways you can volunteer. If you enjoy volunteering on our construction site, you may be interested in becoming a volunteer crew leader. Our crew leaders are an essential part of our team, leading small groups of volunteers in construction tasks and ensuring our homes are built to a high quality standard. If you're interested, you can apply by logging onto the volunteer portal, click on ongoing opportunities, then click becoming a volunteer crew leader. Now if you're more of a people person, you may be interested in becoming a habitat host. Use your own personal excitement for the Habitat mission to inspire others to get involved. If you're interested in becoming a Habitat host, please email us at volunteer at habitatchicago.org. Now, if you're someone that's interested in working a little bit more behind the scenes, you may be interested in joining one of our committees. We have the Loan Committee, Construction Committee, 
Finance Committee, and the Women Bill Committee. We don't go over each of them in detail, but we look for at least a one-year commitment, including monthly meetings and special events. If you're interested in joining a committee, please email us at volunteer at habitatchicago.org with the committee you're interested in, the resume, and a short explanation of your background. Now, for some of our special events, we do need a volunteer photographer. If you have any experience with the camera, you can help us document all of our best moments by being a part of our special build days and events. We usually start recruiting for photographers one to two months in advance of the event, and we look for a pretty quick turnaround on photos, but we'll happily share your photography website when we post the photos. Now, every now and then, we do have spots in the office for volunteers. Our office volunteers could be doing anything from administrative work to communications based on your experience. We usually need about a month to place office volunteers just to make sure that we have the leadership required and ask for at least a six-month commitment. We also do host AmeriCorps members. Whether you're interested in direct or indirect service, consider becoming a long-term volunteer. Currently, our service members lead crews on build sites, support strategic neighborhood projects, engagement work, coordinate volunteers, and develop construction practices. AmeriCorps member serves at least 10 and a half months to 12 months per term and are very valuable in making sure nonprofits can operate affordably. Now, if you have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to email us at volunteer at habitatchicago.org. Please follow us on any of the social media. It really helps with our visibility and awareness, and it does make a difference. We also post information surrounding affordable housing, Chicago as a whole, and new, new openings on our volunteer calendar. Thank you.